6.51 a.m. And I'm being quiet because I'm in the corridor. People are probably asleep. So, we're on our way to the Naruto theme park. Um, and basically, if you come in and you don't like spiders, don't bother coming, look at this boy. And we can see him. But he's tiny compared to all the 78 million that we've walked past. That apparently is an ice cream shop. Doesn't look like one. Um, yeah, if you find this phone and you're watching this, I'm dead. If you're watching this on YouTube though, <laughs> survived. It's going to be at the other side, we're in a huge park. Do you want to get the direction of the bridge or we're still going in the right way? I see no sight of any ninjas. So, hopefully yeah. we're in the right place. See you in a bit when we're hopefully there. So we finally found a sign that actually points to the park. Which means we're on the right track. Um, quick word of advice though, if you're going to come here, there is a specialized bus. Oh, I might get run over live on video. Here we go. Here we go, Lance. Um, there's a specialized bus that goes from Osaka Station to the park. It's a Naruto bus. Google that way first, though. Yeah, try and get that. I don't know what time it leaves. We were trying to get here early. We got some mad bus that literally just like pulled up in the middle of the highway and let us off. And then we walked through a forest of spiders to get here. So. Don't recommend doing that. Try and get the narrative bus. Also, Morgan lost their rail pass. Don't, don't, don't do that either. Um, this is the first time we brought it up. First time you mentioned it for five minutes. Also, Morgan lost their rail pass. Oh, by the way, guys, you don't rail Morgan. Rail pass lost their Morgan. I'm saying rail pass lost their Morgan. So, if you see a lost Morgan, let the rail pass know that you can't wonder. But, what is nice is, the Japanese authorities from the bus station called the bus driver and were like, yo, someone left the rail pass here. So we can just go and pick it up when we get back. So it's all good, hopefully. Um, we'll see you soon when we're hopefully at the Naruto place. Also, doggo watch, there's your boy. Peace out. Yes! Freaking civilization, boys. We're doing it. Well, hopefully, I mean, hopefully we're doing it. Um, so the plan is to get home. We're gonna try and find that specialized Naruto bus to Osaka station. Cause I swear, you see all these trees behind me? Every one of them is crawling with big fat boy spiders. Like, and they just hang from webs like little drop bears, but spider versions. It's crazy, look at that river. It's pretty brother. Um the fork over there. But hopefully we don't have to go back that way. Go back that way, because like if it's not the top of the highway, how often is it gonna like stop there? Yeah, that's the other thing, we don't even know if we can get picked back up from there, so we're banking on this narrow bus. I'm guessing this narrow bus here. It's not, you know, you have to attack people to attack it. That's expense. Yep. It, it is like 20, I think I looked last night, it was like 21,000 yen. There's no other way to get back after that. Nope. So, so we'll update you if we're still alive. Peace. Oh, and remember, Merry Christmas. Yep. Quick update. What does it say? There are people inside, so. Something's going on today. Close renovation. <laughs> yeah, it could be. <clears throat> huh? Oh.
Morgan's got a new shitty ring. Let's have a look at it. Adorable. <laughs> sp oh, there's a person by the door. I was kind of spy in the door, but there's a person there, so I'm not going to do that anymore. Stay tuned for the opening of the door. Hopefully. Otherwise, we're going back on the spider route. Merry Christmas. Update. Music is happening. So we're pretty sure it's open. Stay tuned for Mad Ninja Skills. Look at it. <laughs> Some other um, prospective ninjas over there. We think. We're not entirely sure. <laughs> I don't know what happened though in there. Merry Christmas. The guy here. <laughs> the guy's got a headband on now. <laughs> Everyone's dressed as ninjas and it's mad. I'll get this place. I'll just have to get a selfie with me boy, won't I? This is Naruto well. Um, we got these little missions on some scrolls that we gotta do. I don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to film because i got to do the missions but stay tuned for an update at the end photos, videos, things like that here's your boy oh, this one's and uh, Barato's down there there he is <laughs> so we just done the... Uh, oh. Just on the Uzumaki course. So that's the hard work over. Next one's brain power. That one would have a lot of brain power anyway. For this little boy. Well, Mata Kondona. That's the boy. So we've just finished the Naruto, well, the Uzumaki and the Uchiha courses. Which was Uzumaki's agility, Uchiha's brain power. They were both kind of agility though, to be honest. But um, now we've got some other missions to do. So I'm not 100% sure what they are, but we'll update you when we get them. Oh, it's got a, a, pen. a pencil. Pencil. Merry Christmas. This is the second green score. Um, featuring all of the Akatsuki. Look at these boys. Oh, and Kurima is somewhere up there as well. Here's my second boy. Second boy. Daedra. Daedra.
flip it round for a better shot. Mad puzzles. Just as Crazy. Shikaku's hand. Are they the symbols for the numbers? Are? So we've just finished all the activities um, and it brings you out at Ichiraku Ramen, so it's time to eat. Um, it was a lot better than I thought it was. I'll give my full thoughts on it in the wrap up tonight, but it was good. You vlogging? Oh, you're taking a photo. I'm taking a photo first and then I'm gonna vlog. <clears throat> the, um, started in the agility course. In fact, the whole day has been better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Um, the ending was awesome. Definitely worth doing it, all the activities. We're gonna come here, you might as well. Because individually, they don't take very long. So if you want to get like a full day in here, well, half a day, then do everything. Okay, so we're just finished. I mean, James has just recorded his part. I'm recording mine now. Um, we finished, we did all the activities. Um, Start with the agility now, course. Now eat your apple. I kind of want to get the ramen just because of me. I mean, same. I'll see how much it is. I'll see how much it is. It's a thousand, yeah. Which is not a meal. And it's three thousand. I'm going to explain what's afterwards. Yeah. In the wrap up, I'll talk about everything we did, what it was like. But in summary, it's awesome if you're an Naruto fan, come and do it. It's a bit out the way, 
but it's worth Very doing. Out the way, but it's awesome. It's worth doing if you're a fan. Merry Christmas. So now Jake's done. Didn't want to talk over him. Um, <coughs> eating hot nudes at Ichiraku's. I had to tie my hair back so it didn't get in my hot nudes. It happens. That's what happens. That's out of long hair, if you didn't already know. Um, we've yeah. all rated. Well, actually, I don't think I even bothered rating it. You didn't, well, I haven't rated it. 10 out of 10. Know. Morgan rated the nudes in Jake's vlog, so. Head over to Jake's vlog to find out what Morgan thinks of the Chiraku's <laughs> hot news. And I'll put my rating, it's not in my vlog, but in your vlog. So check out my vlog. For my ratings. Check, you're telling your audience to check it. out your vlog. Keep watching. <laughs> oh, ha wait. <laughs> Stay tuned for the souvenir shop. Merry Christmas. Souvenir shop. Wait, is that that? Mm -hmm. Oof. 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 I don't know how much I did. Because I don't want to sleep. It's like Oof. Oof. Wait, is that for both? That's for one. Are you sure? Because it says two. 8,800. Oh. It might be. I'm not sure. That's evening so I've just jumped out the shower we're back in uh, Shinjuku in the original hotel um, I've just grabbed the Mackies as well so I'm gonna keep this brief um, we only did one thing today which was Naruto uh, the Naruto theme park and I feel like I covered quite a lot of it during the day so you probably know a bunch of stuff already but I'm gonna briefly run over a few things so, I explained about the Naruto bus, and that's it's better to get that. What we've discovered since then is that the Naruto bus only runs on certain days um, and certain times, which is fine. If you're going on one of them days, definitely do that. The problem is, I can't find anywhere where that schedule is available online for the bus. I only know about it because the schedule was in the park, which is crazy. Because you've got to get there to actually see it. But that aside, um, hopefully if you're going to go yourself, that'll be a little bit more readily available. That aside, the bus we got on the way back to the drop-off point, we discovered there is a better way to go. So you don't have to go through the Spider City. So if you can't get the Naruto bus, just get a regular bus to... Um, that station to well to that drop-off point which I can't remember the name of right now but it, I'll put it right here um, get a bus there and follow this well if you google map the tourist information desk in the park head for that and then from there it's signposted all the way to the Naruto park and if you follow those signs, obviously, you avoid the whole spider trail that we went on. Because what we did was, we essentially pulled up Google Maps, put the Naruto place in, and it gave us the path to follow, which took us through an awful place. Like, it was the stuff of nightmares. Um, but coming back, we asked one of the people that worked in, in the Naruto theme park where we could get the bus from. And she told us, essentially, the same place we got dropped off. So we were like, oh, great. But she gave us a map to follow to get there we followed that map rather than the google maps and it took us on a much nicer and also more scenic route bunch of flowers and a little theme park a nice little seaside view so there is a better way to go about it but it's all a learning experience um the park itself was great it was super fun it was better than i expected it to be um like i said in the video do everything, do all the activities. The agility course is... 
not too crazy. Like, it's obviously built so that kids are able to do it as well. And a lot of the things in it can sort of be avoided or cheated. So, like, we went all out on it. Everything that we had to do, we did. Like, I mean, me and Jake are massive fans of the show. So, we really wanted to, like, be ninjas for a day. So, like, everything in the agility course we did how it's supposed to be done. And so did Morgan. But, I mean, that was our decision to do that. So, uh, what I'm saying is, if you're not, like, super athletic or whatever, don't let that put you off going. There are ways around it. Um, but the agility course was a load of fun. That was, like, Naruto's section. Then there was Sasuke's section, which was meant to be, like, brain work is what they called it. But it had a lot of agility in it as well, so I don't know. It did have puzzles. If you've ever done, like, an escape room, it's kind of like that. And then on the top floor, both paths converge, and Naruto and Sasuke are there, and that's where you finish up those two quests. It's not like one or the other, you do both of them, but you enter from different areas, and it's a different route, and then they converge in the middle. So you do both of them, that's one mission. Um, the second mission was basically gone around a bunch of different characters like Hinata, Neji, Sakura, um, Choji, uh, who else was there? Shikamaru. I think Rock Lee. I think Rock Lee was the start. Um, and basically each one of them has um, a message from Sasuke that you've got to decode. So like it takes place in the Boruto universe and like Sasuke's off doing whatever and these messages get sent back. So you've got to decode the messages and it unravels. Basically the story of the whole park is that there's a, a spy in the Hidden Leaf Village posing as somebody else. And you've got to work out who it is. And there's two sections to the second mission, work out who the spy is and where to go. And um, where to go is essentially like you have to go and find a Jonin ninja and tell him who the spy is. Um, they asked in the park not to post any spoilers online for the story or for how to solve any of the puzzles or whatever, so I'm not going to talk about that. But that is the story, essentially. That's what you do. So then there's like a, a third section. <clears throat> you get these scrolls, actually. I have them. So the blue scroll is the agility and the brain work, like Naruto and Sasuke missions. And, um, I mean, I don't want to show you too much, because if you're going to go, I want you to obviously experience it and enjoy it. But then the green scroll is the second mission, um, which takes place. It, it's more like a sightseeing thing. So once you solve Sasuke's messages, once you solve Sasuke's messages, um, you then have to go and find the Jonin Ninja. But he's in a separate section where the green scroll comes into play. Now, it's more of a sort of a sightseeing thing, but there are puzzles to solve along the way. They have a bunch of stations set up where they've built like awesome stuff, like you've seen the Akatsuki photos, um, or Kurama, stuff like that. That's all part of the second, <clears throat> or the green scroll mission. And along the way is where you find the Jonin Ninja, if you've worked out exactly where he is on the map through the Sasuke messages and Sasuke's sort of message and the whole spy story continues from there um, and there are twists and, and turns in the story that obviously I, I won't talk about but it's not as straightforward as it sounds um, but then the, the green scroll mission continues you go through each station solve the puzzle and then it ends in the legendary cave which you can only get into if you've completed the green scroll and there's a sort of a little puzzle with the scroll itself once you work that out, you get into the cave, and essentially the end of the whole day's experience happens, which was awesome. None of us were expecting it. It was really cool. The ending was like just amazing. Um, obviously, I can't talk about what happened, but then you come out and you're seeing us at Uchiraku Ramen. That's where you come out at. So we ended the day there. We got some food, and we bought some stuff, and that's pretty much it. Um, I think I said in the video, if you are a Naruto fan, it's so worth doing, it's great fun. And it's important to note, Morgan has never watched Naruto, and she enjoyed herself, she had a good day. So, 
you can enjoy it if you're not a Naruto fan. What I will say is, like, if you've never seen the show, I wouldn't recommend going, just because it's so out of the way that really, like, if you are a fan of the show, it's definitely worth the journey, and it's definitely worth doing, because it, it's so enjoyable. If you're not a fan of the show, I wouldn't bother purely based on location. It's just so hard to get to. But if, like us, you're in a group of, like, there's some fans and some aren't, the ones that aren't will still enjoy the day, like Morgan did, so I wouldn't worry about that. Like, it's an agility course, it's a sort of an escape course kind of thing, and the puzzles, you don't need to know anything about the lore of Naruto. There are, there are some small bits, but honestly, like, it's nothing crazy. Like... If you don't know anything about the show, you can still solve the puzzles and you can still help out and have a good time. And that pretty mu that's pretty much it. Um, after that, we just started the journey back and we've just got back. I've got a Mackie's and um, that's it. We're up again at 6am to hopefully get to Edo Wonderland this time. So, see you in the morning. Matane. Thank <laughs> you.